Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 43 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we're still in the uh, Fortune Cup arc, so let's go to the second round showdown. Yusei's next duel was against Grigar. Rex Goodman hoped that Grigar's power would cause Yusei to call forth the Crimson Dragon. However, before the duel, Yusei and Grigar had a small confrontation. After Grigar caught Leo attempting to sneak into his shop to get a preview of his new duel runner, he returned the boy back home. Leo wanted a sneak peek at my new duel runner like everyone else out there. You gonna call security? Haha, <laughs> no. He reminds me of my own little brother. I'm not gonna punish him just because he's trying to help you win our duel tomorrow. It won't make a difference. You're still going down. There's quite a bit riding on this tournament for me and my future. What about you? Why are you dueling here? We're my friends. I don't have a choice. Let me guess. Goodwin made an off made you an offer you couldn't refuse, right? How did you know? Did he come to you too? He offered me a chance to rebuild my family's village. I need his power to help rebuild my village. It was consumed by fire and destruction in a natural disaster unlike anything that was ever seen before. Director Goodwin promised to help me, but not until I promised to help him with his quest. Grigar, don't you see that he's using you? If it's the only way to rebuild my village, then I'll let him use me all he wants. Sorry, but I have to win tomorrow, no matter what. Finally, Yusei and Gregar met in the arena. You call that thing a duel runner, Yusei? Did it come with training wheels? Just cause you're bigger doesn't mean you're better, Gregar. Yeah, right. Talk to me after the duel's done. Good luck, because you're gonna need it. Alright, let's dance. Now, I can't understand why they couldn't do what they do in 5Ds, which is duel on motorcycles, because it would radically change the game. But I would imagine it would be very weird and funny at the same time. Alright, what do I have in my uh, extra deck here? I still have my Stardust Dragon, my Nitro Warrior, Junk Warrior, and I have Armory Arm. Just one tuner, one or more non-tuner monsters. Once per turn, you can either target one monster on the field, equip this card to that target, or unequip this card and special summon it in attack position. Funny that they don't even call it a union monster, because that's what it does. While equipped by this effect, that target gains 1,000 attack. If that target destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of a destroyed monster in the graveyard. That sounds pretty neat. I have a Drill Synchron as well. If a warrior type monster you control attacks the defense position monster, you inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. Once per turn, when you inflict battle damage to your opponent with this effect, you can draw one card. Fortress Warrior is a new thing as well. You take no battle damage from attacks involving this card. Once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. I think that's pretty neat to have. So I'm gonna put this and this face down. And uh, we'll uh, call it a turn. Let's see what you got, buddy. Allure of Darkness. Spell Reactor RE. It's a, it's a pretty much a balance anyway. Deadlock. <laughs> I don't know why I was struggling with that word. Guys, it's hot here in Canada, alright? I don't have any spell cards to activate, so I don't have to worry about that effect. He does have some nasty, um, back row over there. And that's not in defense mode, so I can't utilize that ability. I could consider just bringing in Junk Warrior right now. Would I want to? I could also consider Drill Synchron. That may not be a bad idea, actually. I 
Yeah, let's go with that, because it's also a tuner. Hidden soldiers? Oh, and that's in defense mode. Wait, can I not bring in Junk Warrior? Hang on, why can't I do that? Oh, it has to be Junk Synchron. I'm an idiot. Well, I'm dumb, alright? Good thing I have a Call of the Haunted to back me up. <laughs> Black Salvo? Oh boy, this could be bad. Dark Strike Fighter! He's tributing that. Oh, and I lost 600 right then and there. Uh, let's save Call of the Haunted for later. Just so I can activate it now. And that trap reactor is gone, so I don't have to worry about that. What is this? Tuning! Add one Synchron Tuner monster from your deck to your hand, then send them the... Okay. That can go well with this. What do I have that can beat 2600 attack? Contribute one monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the tributed monster's level and field times 200. You can only use this effect once per turn. Okay, I have five stars right there. As much as I'd like to bring in Stardust Dragon, I don't think it can immediately take care of this. I do have Nitro Warrior, though, which does stack up to that. Armory Arm may not be bad either, but I need, like, to get it to four. Which, for this to work, I need, like, a level one monster, and I don't have a level one monster. Even though I could also do this. So, attach that... It's not gonna gain enough. Well, let's go with this first. I already have enough of these, so let me add a Drill Synchron. Okay, and it sent that to the graveyard. This card is normal summon, I can level 2 or lower. It has to be 1. Sadly, I don't have that. Let's see, 3 plus... It's 5. And that will equal 8. But I think the best thing I should do is 7. So I need Nitro Synchron. Nitro Synchron 7 stars, right? Oh, you know what? This will work. Let's do it. Oh, what? Hold on. Nitro Synchron plus one or more non-tuner monster. But Nitro Synchron's right there. It adds up to seven. Okay, because that's another tuner monster. That's not gonna do me any favors then. I think I done messed up. Well, I suppose I'll just attach myself to that. Goes up to 1800, but it's not gonna beat that at all. This'll seem like a waste, but I gotta make up for it somehow. Another trap reactor, Wi-Fi. I think I pretty much just lost. Like, there's no way I'm coming back from this.
If I do, I'll be surprised. Look, I'm just grasping at straws, and that's pretty much all I got. Too bad this is really all I can do. But I suppose I'll do anything to lower this guy's field. God dang it. <laughs> he had a threatening roar. Well, that ruins my plans. Oh, another spell reactor, too. It just gets worse. He took no battle damage this entire turn. I mean, this entire duel. He has a trap reactor. And if I take, like, 800 damage, I lose. I think I'm just about done. I got no way to come back from this. If there is a problem monster, like all of them, attack the monster and then tribute a turbo booster in main phase 2 to destroy it. What the hell is a turbo booster? I didn't even draw one. Whatever, game. Nice of you to give me hints on cards I never got a chance to use. Why didn't you do the thing? Well, I need to draw the thing to do the thing. So, good luck, game. In fact, I still didn't draw the thing. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I feel it's a good idea to always have a junk synchron with you. What did I get rid of? That's a turret warrior, right? Yeah, it was a turret warrior. That's too bad. It's always a good idea to have a quill bolt in the graveyard. Global mana cr Oh, you're banishing it, aren't you? You ass! Okay, I see what I gotta do. I gotta do that again. Drill Synchron could be useful if I had, like, some strong warriors at all. Sadly, it's not gonna help me in this situation. Oh, that's a Blast Spear! You know what? If it's just attached to, say, a Quill Bolt, that's not terrible. Swords of Revealing Light, however, is pretty terrible. It's El Terrible. Okay, I do have a quibble in the graveyard. Oh, I need a tuner out to actually make this effect work. Hmm. I do have an idea to absolutely ruin his day. It's no sense for me to bother to attack, because I can't. So as much as I like to get my monster out now, what if I'm in a situation where I could get screwed? Besides, I can easily let him get his strong monster out, so I can dark hole it right away. As long as he's not able to negate my spell. There. That should th thin things out for a little while. Activate the effect of Junk Synchron. Actually, I don't think I'm going to activate that effect. Because... 
I can still special summon it thanks to Quillbolt's effect. Oh, I have to do it now. Because I said yes. You know what? Whatever. It's not the end of the world. I'm gonna get a Junk Warrior up right now. Right now, it's my only saving grace until I can bring in a better monster. See, I was hoping to just use Quillbolt's effect, and then I can add the attack points to Junk Warrior. You're gonna fight it? Oh, limiter removal. Come on! Couldn't let me have one! Not one! Not even one! There's still a Quillbolt in there. So I can just go ahead and use that effect again. I think I'm gonna have to. Don't activate that effect. So I can just go ahead and do this instead. There, now I'll actually get the attack bonus to Junk Warrior. No, that's not how it works. Never mind. It gains attack equal to the total attack of all level 2 or lower monsters you currently control. Oh, it has to be monsters that are still on the field at the time. I'm an idiot. Oh well. Looks like he's just deadlocked for now. This card can be treated as a level 2 monster when used for a Synchro Summon. I could also just go ahead and uh, bring Nitro Synchro out. Because this will actually be better for me. To have the Nitro Warrior. I would not be surprised if he has another Threatening Roar, but that's only going to delay the inevitable. Got Speed Warrior. Now I can actually attack him! No, I can't! Maybe I will next turn! Mystical Space Typhoon! Oh boy! So much for my only defense. And now he has literally none. Too bad this couldn't be treated as, like, a level 1 tuner. Because I could l enjoy the satisfaction of getting, say, a uh, Stardust Dragon ready. But I don't think that's going to be happening. On the plus side, he can't really fight back. Okay, it's only when it attacks the defense position monster. Fair enough. I'll still use Speed Warrior's effect. Okay, dead heat right now. This is where it gets interesting. Just a trap card. Is it another threatening roar? I wonder. Wall Tornado. Select one face-up card in the spell and trap card zones and destroy it. The controller of the destroyed card can then set one set spell or trap card from their hand. If this set card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, select and destroy one face-up card on the field. I don't know if I want to do that, because right now the only face-up monsters, face-up cards that are there are my own. Do I have no more Junk Warriors? Oh right, I need Junk Synchron for that. Never mind. Well, at least I'm able to do plenty of damage. In fact, I have enough to win. There, you're done. <laughs> that was annoying. Riker, 
Are you okay? I'm fine. But it's not over. I told you about my village. About the fire and destruction. But I've learned the truth. I hacked the Goodwin's personal files before the duel and discovered it wasn't a natural disaster. Goodwin decided to use our valley as a little testing ground. He tried to resurrect his precious Crimson Dragon, but he couldn't control its energy. He's going to expose everything! We must silence him! Don't worry, no one's going to believe him. Grigar, are you sure about all of this? I saw the files myself. I'm certain about it, you say? And now Goodwin's gonna answer for all his lies! Grigar attempted to attack Goodwin, but he was immediately arrested by sector security. People of New Domino City, it's always a terrible tragedy when a gifted duelist, like our very own Grigar, suffers a complete nervous and emotional breakdown following such an intense duel. But rest assured that he'll get all the help he needs. You say, promise me you'll take down Goodwin once and for all. He says no. <laughs> Okay, we got another booster pack to buy from Jack Atlas. Okay, Flying Fortress Skyfire. I think that's Bomber's signature card, but we never got to see it. Alright, Duel of Dragons is next. Looks like I'm dueling Akiza. So in the next episode, we'll be doing that. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.